What's happening everyone, Nicky Hawkins here. The morning after the game before, which is basically the morning after the season before, because a long, hard slog this season has come to an end at Brighton. It didn't quite finish the way we wanted it to. Look, it was it was there for us as well. Man United, with their, um, their team, went out to Crystal Palace and got beat. So a win would have taken us back um, to the Europa League, but it wasn't to be. We had to go and face a Brighton side away from home that, quite frankly, we haven't beat in 10 years. Um, and it doesn't look like, to me, after the performance yesterday, that we'll beat them for another 10 years. But hey-ho, it is what it is. We have secured European football for next season. Um, I think Ryan said it best, and I never really thought about this until then. Um, the only downer on that is I think Europa League would have had a, a, a more adverse effect on the players uh, we can attract in the summer. Um, there'll be a couple that probably turn their noses up at us now being in the Conference League. But listen, I've seen a lot of negativity and all of that sort of thing. But for me, we need to build. You know, we've we've got good foundations and we need to keep hold of them foundations. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, but Saying all that, I, I don't think Moyes was wrong in his press conference. He, he, he went on yesterday, he was uh, he was a little bit bemoaned. Um, and he said something like, forgive me, I'm not quoting from anyone here, but he said something like he doesn't feel like he's done a good job. Um, David Moyes needs to understand that he's done a fantastic job, taking us from um, the brink of relegation when he took over um, to now. Um, because two seasons in European competition. Now, there is a playoff. We do have to win that one first, but <coughs> two seasons in European competition, getting to the semi-finals of one this year um, and just falling short. Um, it is a good job. Um, but I can understand in what he says. Like, he was he was very bemoaning on some of the players and I had a little... No, I wouldn't say rant online yesterday, but I had a little discussion with someone online who was play, placing all the blame down on Moyes and, and, and sort of basically saying like, you know, oh, what does he expect? And, you know, they've played lots of games and all that. But I've got no problem. Like a few people have got a problem with what Moyes said. I've got no problem with what Moyes said. Um, at the end of the day, this football club is is progressing. And I would be more concerned if there was a manager that was just accepting of the fact that we've we've lost the last game of the season. You know, we've we've fallen short on a couple of hurdles, and, and they could shrug their shoulders and go, "Oh well, we you know they're tired. The boys are tired." And Moyes come out and basically said, like, you know, that, that it's not good enough. Which I, I understand. If listen, and this is the problem I think we've had for the years that. I've supported West Ham, and I'm, you know, I'm 40 years old, nearly. Um, is the fact that there's there has been too many people here, too many managers, that just shrug their shoulders and go, oh, "Well, what can you do? You know, what can you do?" They need some of these players um, in in big games this season have lacked focus, not as much as we have in previous seasons, um, but yesterday they lacked a bit of focus. They looked a little bit weary, a little bit jaded, but some of them didn't look interested. Now, listen, I, I, I'm not here to, as I said, the boys have had a, a long, hard season and, you know, there are, there is sort of faults in my, in my opinion in the recruitment. Um, and I'm not going to make too much of a, a light of them, but they do look jaded, but, that's what successful teams are. Look at Liverpool. Like, you know, Liverpool have looked jaded for the last few games, like the last maybe 10 games, but they get over the line. And that's what needs to be instilled in this football club is a belief uh, and, and a knowledge of that success comes with hard work. This club has been like a, a holiday home and a retirement home for far too long where people come to make easy money um, with no expectancy of success, no expectancy of 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 winning things, <clears throat> and we need to instill that in our football club if we want to progress. You know, you look at the other clubs. You know, um, 
that are going to be challenging next year. You know, they demand Manchester United. And I'm not comparing us to Manchester United. But, the, you know, the foundation for their success, especially in the 90s, and, you know, you only have to listen to the way Roy Keane and, and Gary Neville, um, you know, go on about it now and, and the lack of it at Manchester United at the moment is, you know, they're expectant. They, they, they expect each other to work hard. They expect each other to, you know, give their all every game. And it, I've got no bone to the fact that that's what the manager wants from, from us, you know. A, a hard-working football club that do everything they can to succeed, you know. Success may never come, but I don't want them to ever think that it's good enough to give half a shift. And that's what the manager was saying there. And I, I, I fully agree with him. I fully agree with the manager with what he said. That being said, the boys have played a lot of games, nearly 60 games. So back-to-back -back seasons in the in the European competition is nothing to be uh, to turn your nose up at. I'm very proud of some of the boys. Um, obviously, Mark Noble, it was his final game yesterday and he, he did get on. Um, it's just a shame we couldn't put in a better performance for him. But, you know, he'll ride off into the sunset now. And I'm hearing rumours that we, we, we're doing some business quite early, which is very unlike West Ham. So it looks like the club, if it's true, of course, I, I'll comment on them when, you know, the the papers are a sign sort of thing uh, and, and the player standing there with our shirt and signed his contract. But it does seem like there is a change in mentality. We do need backup for players. It's not just backup. We need to, we need to sign players with, with stark differences to go in different directions because that's where... A lot where we've lacked this season is we, we've got a game plan and all of our players are, are, are set around one game plan and there's no variety, you know. You see it last week against Manchester City, um, who weren't too well organised at the back. Um, we can expose teams like that. But any time we've, we've really come up against a side that are organised or that play a low block, or, or play that sort of like um, deep defensive line, we struggle to break them down. And... That's what happened yesterday. We struggled to break them down. We struggled to get any momentum. Um, our set, their set, they was well organised, well drilled on set pieces. So we wasn't getting anything there, and inevitably they ended up, they ended up beating us. Well, Brian are a good side, really, really well drilled side. If they scored some more goals, I tell you what, they could be above us. They weren't too many points off in the end. But listen, it's all ifs, buts, and maybe's. Um, you know, we'll be here all over the summer covering transfer news and um, we'll be covering a bit of conference league stuff and, and, and all of that sort of thing. The podcast will continue. Um, but I can't complain. As a West Ham fan, I went to... The only place I didn't go to this year was Seville for the final, a second for a second time in Europe. Been all over the country again following the boys and I will be over the, over the country again following the boys next year. Um I am very proud of, of the way we're progressing um, and that's just what we need, consistency. But as I said, he's not wrong. He's not wrong in wanting to instill a winning mentality and that's what it takes. You know, sometimes it does take calling people out and it might upset people. Um, as fans, we, 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 you know, we shouldn't be questioning him by now, you know. Um, he seems to be knowing what he's doing, but... Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this edition of the morning after the game before. Um, and thank you for joining me all season for the morning after the game before. We will be doing a post-season pint on Friday night. Um, so join us for that. And as I say, the content's not going anywhere. Don't worry about it. You're going to see our faces all over the summer. Um, and it should be an absolute pleasure again. Um, thank you for all the patrons this season. There will be a big competition uh, in the next few weeks for the patrons. Um, so if you're not signed up, go and sign up there now, and you you be you have your um, name entered in the hat. Um, but thank you everyone that subscribed this season, everyone that continues to to, to support us. It's been it means the world to us. Um, as I said, we're not going anywhere, but I'm looking forward to the new season already. One thing left to say. Come on, you irons.